Hello, this is Damir Arsenievich and I'm commenting on life under Corona in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Now, since Bosnia and Herzegovina, after the Dayton Peace Agreement, is really chopped up administratively, it's very difficult to get a clear sense of what's going on, but what people are commenting on mainly is that with the natural catastrophe that was announced and proclaimed, there is only prohibition on the freedom of movement happening with very little support for the population. There is very few data on available tests and how testing are done. What gives us actually courage in this situation, which is very reminiscent of the wartime and many people are commenting about fears and anxieties that are returning of, of the wartime is that what gives courage are the doctors, the nurses, the cleaners, and actually all those who amidst all of this provide the food, treat us and keep us safe. What has been proven is that actually nepotism is lethal, that the incompetence of ethnic elites endangers us all. For small bribes, they're willing to sacrifice a lot and that political civility, as opposed to expertise, is a hazard. And now, more than ever, do we need to actually kind of come together as a society to remember when we look back that what managed to get us through was us coming together and being much kinder to each other and people organize individually to help the elderly, the sick, those who don't have anybody. And that is the lesson that we learned during the war and during the floods in 2014, that the elites who are in charge have squandered all the reserves, that there are no reserves, there is no proper structure in place and that you know people are just having to rely on themselves and actually that's not a bad thing after all but after all of this i think everybody's feeling there is a lot of anger and that some sort of reckoning will have to take place and what we will learn possibly out of this is that what we value the doctors the nurses the cleaners the police officers um will have to be reevaluated, and people are asking so why in the time of crisis socialism and the idea of welfare state comes back only then <laughs>